Hi, this is an updated video on how to make your own VTubing app in Unreal Engine. I have made a previous video on how to make your own Unreal Engine VTubing app previously. It's fallen a little bit out of date. And today we're gonna to be using a different method, but if you're still interested in doing the original method, you can still follow the same tutorial. Just use Visual Studio. 2019 or later. In this video, we're gonna be doing it a completely different way, which is a lot easier and a lot more manageable for most people. And this has actually been recorded on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Velfamit. And that's why you're seeing a bunch of crazy stuff happening right now. This video has been sponsored by Rokoko. Use code RKK underscore Fofamit to get 10% off either gloves or a suit. Rokoko is the motion capture suit I've been using for the past six months. And what's really nice about the Rokoko suit is it allows you to cap capture more fluid movement while standing or moving around. Use my code, get 10% off RKK underscore Fofamit. All the links are gonna be in the description below. And also I have a model that's gonna be for sale. It's the Fatori model. And what's gonna be really nice is that in the future, the Fatori model will have an update, which will include an example project with everything already set up for you, both in Unity and Unreal Engine. We're gonna start by going to the Unreal Engine website and you're gonna press the download button. And we're gonna be downloading the launcher and then you are gonna go ahead and install it. So once you have it installed, you should have a new icon like this with the Epic Game Launcher. And then you're gonna have a tab on the side that says Unreal Engine like that. So to download Unreal Engine 5, you just need to go to the library. And if it doesn't already have Unreal Engine 5, like it does right here, you can go to engine versions, add, select the engine version that you want to install right here. In this case, it'll be Unreal Engine 5.01. Then you will press install. So in, in my case, I already have it installed. This might take some time. Once Unreal Engine in your launcher has finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and launch it. Once Unreal Engine has launched, we're gonna start by making a brand new project. I personally like to start in the film, video, and live events. We could start with a blank template, but I always like to start with a virtual production template because essentially that's what VTubing is in some senses, it's that's virtual production. And we're gonna name this um, VTuber Tutorial. And we're gonna press Create. Once Unreal Engine launches, you might need to spend a little bit more time preparing shaders. Okay, so once your shaders have compiled, and don't worry, you don't have to do this very often. Basically, it's a one-time deal. Once they're compiled, they're compiled, unless you decide to rebuild them. But anyways, now your shaders are compiled, we can get started. So the first thing you should do, we're gonna go to Tools, new C++ class, and we're gonna be adding an empty C++ class. The reason why we're gonna be doing this is that if we're gonna be adding any new plugins in the future, it just basically makes it so that it's a lot easier to add custom plugins that require the source code. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. We're gonna go create class, and we're gonna be adding C++ code to the project. So it's gonna require you to close and then reopen Unreal Engine. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to go ahead and exit and save. So now when we're reopening it, you're going to see your project right here in the My Projects tab. And if you just double click it, it should already open in Unreal Engine 5 and you can see the engine version right here. So now that you, that is relaunched, what you'll notice is that the shaders might have recompiled, but they recompiled super quick, which is great because remember, you don't have to do it very often. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna double check the plugins that we have available. So we're gonna go to edit plugins and there's gonna be a couple plugins that you're gonna want to have enabled. So one is gonna be live link. So we do have live link already enabled because that's part of the virtual production template. What I would also recommend is just also just adding in live link control rig. And then we're also gonna go save, save all, and then we're gonna close it out. So now in order to use this with normal VTubing, we're gonna need a couple extra plugins. I close this, so we're gonna exit out of Unreal Engine. One of the other plugins is, uh, is BMC for UE. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the releases and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna download the latest version for Unreal Engine 5, which will be right here. We're also gonna be downloading the UOSC plugin as well. So we're gonna be downloading the latest version right here. You're right, I did forget that. And you're also gonna be needing VRM for you, which you can get in the releases here as well. 
make sure that you download the latest version. You can just check when it's been updated right here. What we're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the launcher. You're gonna go to the VTuber tutorial. You're gonna right click it in your My Projects and you're gonna go to Show in Folder. So here in the Content Menu folder, so we're gonna add a plugin folder. So you're gonna name it Plugins. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that and then we're gonna add the plugins that we just downloaded into this plugin folder. So when you're done, you should have three new folders in your plugin folder. Make sure that you're grabbing the actual plugin and not the zip file. So you need to have the actual plugin itself. So in each one, they should have a binaries folder inside them, just like these ones do. And that's how you know you got the right directory in there. So once this is done, we can relaunch our project. So now that your project is reopened with those new plugins, the next thing we need to do is make sure that they are enabled. So what you're going to do is go to the edit and plugins option again, and then you're going to type in VRM in the search bar to make sure that they are enabled. So right now you see, we have the VRM for you plugin, but it's not enabled. So we're going to check it. And we're also going to type in OSC to make sure that UOC is also enabled. And now both of them are enabled. So we're going to restart the editor. Okay. So now that you have all the plugins enabled and you have everything relaunched, so the next thing we need to do is import your VRM model. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your VRM model, and then you're also going to need a VRM map. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to drag in the VRM map to import it. So you can just drag it right into the content browser, right into the content window right here like that by clicking and dragging it in. So now that you have your VRM model imported, the next thing you're going to need is a VRM map because right now you can bring your model in no problem. So like right here, you're going to see, you're going to see the name of your model with a light pink lavender line. And you can, that's your skeletal mesh. And that's where you're going to click and drag into the scene just like that. And it will take some time for the shaders for this to render. So while it's rendering, you're just going to see the no texture version of your model, just like I am right now. And in order to get the BRM map, we're going to be needing to download an extra plugin for unity. And what the VRM map uh, allows you to do is basically it allows you to map the skeleton of your model to a animation blueprint. So it allows you to control it with motion capture software such as BC face, Rokoko or virtual motion capture. So we're going to be going to this GitHub. Once again, the link is going to be in the description and you're going to be getting the VRM map in exporter like right here. So we're going to go to releases and then you're going to get the unity package just like this. If you haven't done this before, as I would recommend checking out my Unity tutorial on how to convert your model into a VRM, which you should see popping into on the upper corner up there. And you're going to be, you should be using that very same project file. If you have not done that before, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start a fresh start of Unity. So you're going to be opening up Unity Hub and we're going to start by making a new project. And we're going to start the new project in 2019 431 F1. And we're going to call this project VRM map and we're going to press create. What you're also going to be doing is you're going to also need a, another plugin, uni VRM link is also going to be in the description for this one as well. And you're going to go ahead and download it. So once you have unity open, we're going to go ahead and import both of those packages. So the first package you're going to open and import is uni VRM and it's going to ask you to import all these things. So we're going to go ahead and press import imported. Yes. Use recommended linear. Perfect. So uni VRM should be imported and you should see something like this. Uni VRM zero at the top. Great. Next thing we're going to need to import is the VRM map package as well. So we're going to go ahead and just click and drag it into the assets window, just like that. And you're going to have a import package just like this and press import. And then to know it's successfully imported, you should have a VRM map menu just like this at the top as well. So in order to get a VRM map, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you import the very same model that you're going to be using in Unreal Engine. So you're just going to click and drag it into the assets window just like that. So you're going to be importing your VRM model. If you don't know how to convert your model to a VRM for VTubing, I do have a couple tutorials that you're going to see popping in the corner just over there. In order to export the VRM map for your model. So when your model has finished importing, you're going to see a package, a prefab package of your model. So you're going to click on that. It should be, you should see the 
blue cube. And then in the bottom corner, in the inspector, you should see all of this information pop up. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and then go to the VRM map and press export. So then what you can do next, once it's been exported, you can just go right click right here and go to show folder. Sometimes it'll update and you can see it here, but when you click show folder, you'll see the assets menu and you'll see the VRM map right there. And that's what we need. So once we are finished with this, we can go ahead and close out this Unity project. So now that we have the VRM map, we can go ahead and import this into Unreal Engine. So we have our model right here in the scene, but we have no way of moving the model because if we press the play button, so we see that nothing is actually happening with our model because we have no way of moving it around. So what we need to do is we need to create something called an animation blueprint. And that's where that VRM map really comes in handy. So how we're going to make a animation blueprint is very simple. So all you need to do is find the skeletal mesh of your model. So that the one with the lavender pink line, and you're going to right click it and we're going to go to create and then animation blueprint, just like this. And um, you can name it um, I'm just for the sake of this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and double click it once it's open. What we're going to be doing to animate this model is we're going to be using virtual motion capture protocol. So to send the motion information into Unreal Engine through the animation blueprint, there's going to be, you can either use VC face or you can use virtual motion capture or you can use broke help. So in this case, we're going to be using um, either VC face or virtual motion capture. So we're going to go ahead and right click this right here into the animation blueprint graph. And we're going to type in VMC for you bones and then compile. And we're also going to do the same thing for two things, VMC for you E morph. We're going to make sure that you have both of these things in here. And you're going to notice that there's going to be a drop down menu for VRM map. So if you click on that, it should find the only VRM map that you should have in your project is the one that we just created and imported just like that. And we're going to press compile. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set the morph node that we just created and bring that into the output pose. And then we're going to have the modified bones go into the morph just like this. And we're going to go ahead and press compile. So if everything has gone well, you should see like the connection just like this. Next, we need to set the port number. So for this tutorial, we're going to be setting our port number to 39544. And make sure you set the port number the same for both of them, depending on your setup. But most setups, you're going to, you're going to have the port numbers being the same. Just so you know how the different port numbers are going to be working here. This is going to be for the bones. So like basically what's going to be driving your model and moving it around. Whereas the morphs are going to be like for your facial tracking. If you have it, if you're using an application like VC face, that's going to be controlling both of those at the same time. And so this is all you really need to do. So next thing you need to do is use your motion capture application. So in this case, we're going to be using VC face. And we're going to be sending the data. So if you're using more than one computer, you might want to change your IP address to what the other computer is. If everything is on the same computer, you can just leave it at 127.0.1.1. And then you're going to send the send motion to the same port number that you have set in Unreal Engine in that blueprint. So what you're going to notice now is that our character has changed from a T pose to uh, this right here. So what we're going to do to quickly test it. And so now we should see this motion capture information. So now we have the animation blueprint set up. It's really that easy just to have the basic motion capture set up. What you need to do is when you're your select your model back into the scene, go into the details panel, which I'm going to move out over here just for ease of use, just so that everyone can see it. And we're going to go to use animation blueprint. So we're going to select the animation blueprint that we just made which you can find in the drop down menu just like that. From this point on, all you need to do is just press like your model that is tracked in VC face. That's how you make your very own basic Unreal Engine v tubing app.